Hey everyone, George here. This is Western Wednesday number 21. We just hit blackjack, and Happy New Year. I hope everyone stayed safe during the Thanksgiving and Christmas holidays leading up to the New Year, and yeah, I hope everyone is doing well. So, to start off the New Year, I thought we would start it off with the Western Wednesdays again, and we got to start this year off with a bang, am I right? And I was wanting to start off with the Sartana movies. Now, it all started with, if you meet Sartana, pray for your death, which had Johnny Garco in there. But the first time Johnny Garco actually played a character named Sartana was in the 1966 movie $1,000 on the Black, or Blood at Sundown, which that was the title in the United States. So, $1,000 on the Black is directed by Alberto Cardone, and it stars Johnny Garco and Anthony Steffen. Both these characters, both these actors, play brothers in the movie. You have Anthony Steffen, who's kind of in that Robert Ryan kind of category of actors where they're very sleepy-eyed actors. They always look tired. They always have that kind of wrinkly, kind of dreary-eyed look. And Anthony Steffen plays Johnny, who is brothers to Johnny Garkill's character, Sartana. And they both have a crazy mother, and uh, Anthony Steffen just came out of 12 years of being in prison for a crime that he did not commit. And he comes back to see Sartana, and he finds out that he's living in this crazy, like, Aztec, Mayan, Indian, like, fortress almost, with a crazy, nasty gang of outlaws. And he sees that Sartana and his gang are basically controlling the nearby towns and basically threatening the towns for money. And he has this crazy um, bounty on him, Sartana does. And it's like $10,000, which is funny because Johnny Garko was also in a movie called $10,000 for a Massacre. So that's pretty funny. Anyways, Anthony Steffen teams up with his almost like brother-in-law named Jerry. Jerry's a mute and he teams up with Anthony Steffen's Johnny to help stop Johnny Garko's Sartana's reign of terror. Prima che il sole tramonti voglio fare un bagno nel sangue! L'odio, la violenza, la vendetta dilagarono sulla terra. Il sole ne fu muto testimone. Ma quando il fratello armò la sua mano contro il fratello, quando l'oro divenne il prezzo del sangue, il sole si oscurò e la notte divenne il colore della morte. Alberto Cordone also did. He directed Seven Dollars on the Red with Anthony Steffen and uh, Fernando Sancho, which is also a lot of fun. However, One Thousand Dollars on the Black to me is a lot better, in my opinion. And um, what I love about these titles for these movies is that Seven Dollars on the Red and One Thousand Dollars on the Black have nothing to do at all with the game of roulette. They actually have to deal with scenes. Like seven dollars on the red, I don't want to spoil anything, but uh, basically Fernando Sancho throws seven dollars on this dead woman's dress, and then you have one thousand dollars on the black. You have Johnny Garco giving his mother a thousand dollar necklace, and she always wears this black dress. So I think that's really cool how they incorporated the scenes and then they turn it into titles that sound like gambling movies, but it has nothing to do at all with gambling, but. Johnny Garco is fantastic in this movie. He is over the top and elevates every scene that he's in. He's a blast to watch as this really psychotic bad guy. And um, he really, uh, he's a lot of fun. Anthony Steffen's a lot of fun too as the good guy here. And uh, the team up between Johnny and Jerry is like a lot of fun. And uh, Jerry is a mute, so that really, uh, it's a very over the top kind of character. And you have... Johnny Garco, his scenes that he's in, they're just, they're too much really. And the gang of outlaws that they have, it's just, it's craziness. This probably, this movie has to hold the record for most gunshots shot in the air and uh, the most laughs in a spaghetti western because it is over the top silly. And the fist fights go so long, like the opening fist fight, 
Like it, that thing is like almost like the movie They Live with Roddy Piper, where it just keeps going and going. It must have been like three or four minutes where people were just punching each other. So, one thousand dollars on the black is pure excess, and uh, it's a pretty mean spirited movie too. However, it uh, it does a lot of things right. This movie is beautiful. This movie packs a punch with its uh, over the top violence, and uh, yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. Michele. Lacarenza, I think that's how you say his name, who was the trumpet player on the, the Dollars Trilogy. He is fantastic. He's bringing it on the score. And Johnny's Theme is one of my personal favorite Western songs. And uh, fantastic score. The theme song is overused because it's so darn good, but <laughs> you can listen to it throughout the movie and you're just like, man, that is one good theme song. So, $1,000 on the black. I highly recommend it. It's one of my personal favorite spaghetti westerns. If you're living in excess, baby, this is the way to go. $1,000 on the black. Like the movie a lot. I would give it a 9 out of 10. Definitely a lot of fun, if you don't mind over-the-top campiness. So, next week, we're actually going to get right down to business with the actual Sartana movies. And we're going to start it off with, If you meet Sartana, pray for your death. And it has Johnny Garco in there, Fernando Sancho, and Klaus Kinski. Uh... Yeah, it's, it's going to be fun, guys. So I will catch you all next week for If You Meet Sartana, Pray for Your Death. I hope you all take care and stay safe. Bye.